Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. Hi, everyone. This is Brian Anderson at the table along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Ali LaFour. Now Denver's starting five. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. And it's Jokic in at the five spot. And for the Hornets, Rozier is the two with Miller at the three. MP is out there with Miles Bridges. And it's Ball in at point guard. Well, Grant, with that time of the year where trade rumors start to heat up and speculation on social media runs rampant. Oh, you're so right. I mean, we're not just talking players, too. A number of coaches are on the hot seat as well. So it can be a bit of a distraction for everyone. And of course, the only cure is winning. Tip-off goes to Denver. And here's Murray. Pass to Jokic. And Gordon with the big finish. One of the better dunkers we have in the NBA, Aaron Gordon. Showtime. MP outside. Here's Miller. Now ball. MP outside. Here's Rozier. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Four on the clock. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps bounds. possession. It remains Charlotte basketball. Shot clock at three. Yep, count it. The shot first mentality of Rogier on full display. Knows he can make this shot when it opens up. Goes to Mess. And it's Murray with the ball for Denver. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Hornets team. And <laughs> they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power for it, but outstanding at rising up off the ground. Here's Best. And MP throws it down. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Here's Murray. And so he draws the foul and into the line to shoot a pair. And one thing about Jamal Murray, Brent, you know he's not afraid of the big moments. Nah, and it felt really good just as a basketball fan, B.A., to see Jamal Murray return to those big moment kind of plays that we got used to while the teams were in the bubble. Certainly a rising star and a guy that gets dangerous the bigger the game gets. throw drops from Murray and Jamal Murray more and more has come into his own as a player capable of shouldering the offensive load and being a leader for his team at times that one falls so he hits both of them well Brent the past several years have been the brightest in Nuggets history and it makes perfect sense I mean B.A. you go out and you find a, a player that elevates everybody else a guy who becomes the two-time MVP. The talent on the roster has taken strides. They've done a great job in the draft process. It's great to see Denver becoming a legitimate powerhouse in the Western Conference. Bit of a picture-perfect start here to this game. They've connected on all three looks. Pass to best. Now here's Ball. Here's Miller. A reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. The shot by Best, no good. The Nuggets have gone three of three so far from the floor. Murray against Ball. They kick it out to Murray. Got a hand on it. He just continued to work for the block. Miller not letting up an ounce of effort. And it's the Nuggets with the ball. They lead by four. Just five to shoot. The Nuggets need to get one up. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got five now. Shooting four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. On the wing, MP. Covered by Jokic. 
Bridges passes to Best. Good D by Jokic. And so Jokic will bring it up for the Nuggets. They come into this one following a loss to Brooklyn. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. And when you look at Rogier, such a fantastic score, a gear-shifting, talented guard who continues to improve. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Denver. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. Well, a lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. That free throw good from Rozier. He does not get the second one. We hear that label unicorn thrown out there a bit these days. But Nikola Jokic, he is truly one of one, Brent. Yeah, incredible to watch the way that Jokic is able to control the game and pick his spots, B.A., to impact him, whether that's by rebounding the ball and playing physical, dishing the ball and making some assists happen, or shooting the ball from the three-point line. What a complete package he is. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. The grand last season, Nikola Jokic came close to winning his third straight MVP. But in the end, he won something more precious, an NBA title. And that finals MVP award more meaningful. Personally and in terms of his legacy, being a winner is what matters in the end. Oh, yes. Two loud points from Miller, making his presence felt. Up top, Gordon. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. And here's Porter outside. Can't get it to go. Missed his first one. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Miller can't get it to go. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. The Hornets have gone three of eight so far. Pass to Rozier, and here's MP. Rozier outside. To the paint. Here's Best. Doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Jokic. So far this quarter, he's been out of sync and might be pressing right now. Murray against Ball. And it's Murray off the drive from deep. Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. They're moving on after a tough loss they took at the hands of the Pacers. Just a tough road loss. You're going against players who are comfortable shooting in their own building. You have to find a way to disrupt their focus. Yeah, they couldn't do it in that one. Always a step slow in closing out the shooters and maybe even recognition of who was on the floor. Just not enough energy, and that's a tough way to win on the road. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Best passes to Rogier. Second chance effort. And MP with a layup. Best has got his second basket on the night. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis. And that was some serious effort there. Right side Murray shoots over ball and he got the whistle on the way up so he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That went on ball. And Murray one of those guys that you can classify as automatic from the free throw line. Smith he's checked in for Charlotte. Jamal Murray. And Murray drops them both. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team.
let's check in on the rookie race. It's early in the season, but already some of the fresh talents have started to really distinguish themselves in the league. A pretty competitive class, all hoping to grab that Rookie of the Year trophy. You look at MP, what an incredible start to his rookie season. Sitting in the number one spot right now, but I'm sure this will be an exciting rookie race. And you know his confidence must be soaring, sitting at the top of this impressive list of young talent. That is no small achievement, even early on like this. I, I think it shows just how well he fits into playing at this level. Back to Murray. Pass to Jokic from the arc. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Three. Murray's got three assists in the game. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. Clock at six. Here's Bridges. That one's wide left. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Gordon. Nice D from Bridges. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And that one, good. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Denver in the lead. Murray deciding where to go with it. Let's the three fly. And he recovers it. Second chance shot. Jokic's shot is good. It's impossible to win when you give up second and third chances to score. And here's MP. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Here's Bridges. Gordon pulls it in. Got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. They get it back. Here's Jokic. He goes up again. Nice D from Bridges. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Miller, the pass to Rozier. On target from range. Rozier's got his third basket on the night right there. And that's what you get from Brandon Miller. I mean, he can really whip passes there around the court. Outside Porter. Murray against Smith. Pass to Gordon. Six to shoot. Bridges on the double. Here's Porter. Gordon down low. He's against Bridges. Jokic, no good. You won't see him miss that one too many times. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. Perfect soft touch from Rozier. That level of shot control is a strength of his game. Pass to Gordon. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Gordon's got six points. And they've quickly gathered eight second chance points thus far. Bridges with it. Here's Smith. Now MP. Outside for Rozier. Miller, the pass to best. On the wing, Rozier. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. Rozier gets the bucket. Oh, one of the tougher players in this league. Rozier doesn't mind battling through some airtight defense. Murray inside, covered by Smith. Murray, shot is good. Nine points in the game. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second-chance opportunities. Bridges passes to best. The three ball. And there's Bridges. That's good. On the assist by MP. Best has got assist number five here tonight. Well, the Nuggets shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Pass to Murray. Two minutes remaining in the court and outside. Two minutes. Good D by MP. Charlotte has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Smith. Misses off the right iron. 144 left in the first. Caldwell Pope, the pass to Gordon. Jokic. And he drops Nicole in the layup Nicole off the glass. And the Nuggets lead by six. Defensively. 
They've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Goes here outside. To the inside. Stolen by Jokic. Inside. And Gordon with the big finish. Oh, what a look. Jokic already joined the list of NBA's greatest passing big men. No doubt about that. Pass to Bridges. Up and over Gordon. Here's Best. The shot won't fall. Good D by Murray. Best has gone three of eight tonight from the field. Hey, great communication on the lob. And now it's a 10-point nugget lead. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Outside Murray. Best grabs the board. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Smith. Bridges outside. Miller, the pass to Bridges. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Outside Murray to the middle. Here's Jokic. It's good from in tight. Jokic has got 11. Jokic being assertive now on the inside. He can move anybody around. Three-pointer Bridges. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. It's been all about Nikola Jokic for the Denver Nuggets. Between the scoring and rebounding, an excellent period. We'll be right back after this word. to have you with us second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and from what you've seen from the nuggets what you take so far well a big he's coming off a 10-point game against the pacers in indianapolis all right grant i'm going to ask you to put on your executive hat now tell us what the key is to establishing culture at an nba organization Ooh, ba culture structured accountability it's about getting the right group of guys having strong leadership and of course it only works if the coaches and players fully buy in murray finds porter It's rebounded by Charlotte. Best has got six rebounds in the game. Down low. And out of bounds. The Nuggets will take it. Denver. Here's a look at some stats from Brandon Miller. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for Denver. Pass to Holiday. Back to Murray. Now here's Holiday. Driving to the basket. Out of bounds. It'll be Hornets ball. A peek now at our rookie leaderboard to see who led the way in steals this past month. Charlotte has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far. Rosier outside. Back to ball. To the inside. Here's Best. And if he throws it down. If you get any space, LaMelo will find you. So be ready. Denver in the lead. Caldwell Pope. The pass to Najee. He buries it from three. Najee's got himself on the board with a three there. Textbook bounce pass there. Perfectly timed. MP outside. Back to ball. to the paint MP with it working on Najee it's deflected outside Caldwell Pope 
And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Miller's checked in for Hayward. Now, into the lineup for your Hornets, Miller. On defense, the Hornets. Eight-point game. Pass to Porter. Caldwell Pope with it. Hounded by Rozier. Here's Holiday. The wide open shot is on the money. Holiday's got his first points of the game. And with KCP's improved scoring, defenders are taking note of him and leaving his teammates wide open. Now MP. Ball outside. Back to Bridges. Stripped it away. MP against Porter. Good D by MP. For Charlotte, they've gone 6 of 11 here in the second quarter. Rozier. Charlotte again missing. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. Holiday passes to Murray. Inside. Here's Najee. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. Charlotte has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Out to the wing. Miller, the pass to best. Pass to Rozier. Five to shoot. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Oh, and the dunk by MP. What vision from Rozier there. Seeing his teammate was wide open and making the right pass. Murray passes to Porter. Here's Holiday. Let's go with a three. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. The coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Bridges, and he gets it to fall. Three for eight in this one. He just brings a great feel for the game at the offensive end. Denver's got seven of their 16 three-point attempts to go in. Murray passes to Porter. A minute 31 left in the second quarter. Got it. Porter showing just great body control that time, taking the hit, but he keeps his eyes on the rim. That helps him score and finish. Here's Miller. The three-pointer off the mark. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Murray against Ball. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. The assist. Murray's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The Hornets have gone 8 of 15 in the second. It's Bridges on the wing. Back to Ball. On the wing, Rozier. Here's Miller. He drops it from range. Miller's got his second basket of the night. And there's a reason Miller was a volume three-point shooter in college, because he's extremely accurate. Add that to his line. Now three for six. Yeah, that first quarter was a bit shaky. Good to see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Shot and game clock separated by five. Ball against Murray. 16 seconds left in the first half. Here's Caldwell Pope. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Up top, Rozier. Pass to Bridges. And stolen by Holiday. The shot, no good. And so we've reached the end of the first half of play. The Nuggets on top, up by 10. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute.
And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Well, you got to like what Aaron Gordon has done in this game. He's been dominating down low. Got to assume they'll keep feeding him the rock. Oh, man, pouring it on right now. And why wouldn't you? Ball and Rogier, they man the backcourt. Miles Bridges is out there with Miller. And it's MP in at the five. That's the five to begin the second half for Steve Clifford. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Pacers delivered quite a performance. He contributed 20 points, and he was on a tear in that game, recording a season high in points. Once he found his rhythm, it was pretty much over. He found a way to do whatever he wanted. Guys, back to you. Outstanding. Thanks. Impressive ability to carry his team to victory, Grant. Yeah, B.A., I was really impressed. They wouldn't have won the game if it wasn't for his attacking mindset and will to win. Yeah, going up against a team that had no answer for him. We'll see if it plays out the exact same way here tonight. And what's unique about Michael Porter Jr., it's almost impossible Michael to block his jumper. Yeah, at six foot ten, Grant, he's got that high release point. How are you going to close out and do anything to disrupt this guy in his shooting window? Nearly impossible in the lead offensive shooter. Here's best. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Jokic has got rebound number 11. Outside Porter. Back to Jokic. Knocked away. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Hornets. A moment now to see how the schedule is looking for the Denver Nuggets. On Monday, they'll go up against Chris Paul and the Golden State Warriors. And then on Thursday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And looking at the Hornets matchup, this is one that they expect to win. But those games can be tricky. Remember, there are no free wins in this league. Here's Best. And the layup is good off the glass. Best has got 12. Well, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference. Not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. Back to Murray. To the middle. Here's Jokic. Tries again. Tries yet again. Look at Jokic going to work inside. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Miller. He's guarded by Porter. Offensive rebound. Here's Best. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. At the line, for two. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Denver Nuggets. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. That one rolls around and rims out. Charlotte has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Bridges. Good work defensively by Gordon. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously and just totally relentless only increasing the intensity level yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to Man, right now trying to put good. this one away now a timeout called by charlotte Brent, everyone has a three-point shot now oh, caldwell pope is a true sharp this guy can really get the job done from the three-point line and coaches appreciate the stability that he brings to them on the defensive end what a great plug and play two guards in the nba Causing havoc inside. Oh, it's just so fast Second and so nimble. That one misses. And the third team foul. And the second free throw is good. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Murray against Ball. Murray inside. Gordon's got space. It's good. Gordon. And the assist goes to Murray. Gordon's got 19 points. And Gordon doing it all here. Fills it up, cleaning the glass. You name it, he's getting it done. Back to ball. MP scanning the floor. 
Ball against Murray. Ball no good. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Murray has doubled. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. That shot's good. Now they're playing working to perfection there if that was their plan. And if it wasn't, maybe that should be their plan. Murray passes to Jokic. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. It's off to L.A. after this game, where they'll face the Clippers. That'll commence a long trip on the road, six games total. And there's Bridges. That's good. On the assist by Rozier. Rozier's got four assists now tonight. Pass to Murray. With the assist. Now Gordon. Now here's Caldwell Pope, pounded by Rozier. Back to Gordon. Just four to shoot. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. It's going to be on Miles Bridges. You know Gordon continues to... Substitution on the court. Murray against Ball. Murray passes to Porter. Najee, good. Najee's got 10 points in the game. Well, those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. And so it's the Denver Nuggets with a commanding 22-point lead going into the break. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We'll be right back. a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become complete. On the court for Denver. Manning the backcourt, it's Murray and KCP. Christian Brown out there with Michael Porter. Jamal and it's Najee Murray. in at center. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And you look at how screens are set in today's game. Brent, the screeners get away with a lot. EA, you could call them legal screen on almost every pick and roll now. There's a lot of leaning, there's a lot of moving. Guys are extended outside of their body with their feet. But offenses, they greatly benefit from the way the game is called, and they'll continue to take advantage of it. Here's Brown going inside. Here's the three. Nachi, good. He drops yet another dime, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Charlotte. Pass to Rozier. Out of bounds as Charlotte keeps possession. Charlotte making some changes. Washington's checked in for Bridges. Delakina comes in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for ball. A few possessions into the fourth. Just over a minute play. Smith against Murray. Oh, Jordan with the block. And Jordan, a defensive stalwart, crushing the opposition with his shot blocking. The drive by Porter. Slam dunk by Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Here's Porter. 
Carries it down low. Michael and never Porter. lacking for confidence as Porter is not going to let a little bit of contact hold him up. Inside, Washington. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Defensive foul. All right, a look at how the Justin points have been generated Oliver. so far. Substitution well, the broadcasting, the Shooting team ownership, Denver, heading USA Jamal Basketball. Murray. Grant, what drives you to do so much these days? One. Well, B.A., I, I'm an active guy, <laughs> and I had a great playing career. But the things I wasn't able to do because of the injury, I think, left me even more motivated to excel and try new things in this next chapter of my life. MP outside. Back to Smith. Pass to Best. Now Smith. Back to MP. Goes back up. And he takes it up and lays it in. Best has got four points now in the quarter. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Gordon, right side, on the wing, Porter. Three pointer, and the three pointer goes. Porter, oh boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Down low, Porter with the steal. It's a three on three fast break. Here's Murray. That falls. Jamal nice feed from Jokic. Assistant. What a performance on the Nicola offensive end. Jokic. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Best passes to Smith. And he converts the layup. And all the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Denver has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Here's Murray. It's rebounded by Charlotte. On the wing, MP. Defended by Gordon. Pass to Nilakina to the inside. Washington outside. Six on the shot clock. Here's Nilakina. Denver grabs the miss. Porter's got four rebounds now. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams. I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us. You know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately heading. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And the Hornets making a change here. Hayward's checked in. So after making the first, he goes one for two. Charlotte has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Smith outside. Pass to best. Washington outside. Over Gordon. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. Washington's gone two for six from the floor so far. Takes a 13-footer. Another shot. Here's Jokic. And finally, they Nicole hit one. Jokic. Jokic has got 24. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. And the call will be against Nikola Jokic. Nicole That's foul number Jokic. two for him. And Grant, Second, with the idea of league foul. expansion, some Second have worried in the past that foul. there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in a terrific place for talent, and there's definitely the depth for more teams to join the fray. 
Smith passes to best. And if he throws it down. I'm watching Ish Smith watch his teammates. Great swing to the wide open man for the uncontested shot. Denver has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Second shot opportunity. And Jokic finishes inside. Jokic has got 15 points here in the second half. Pass to Washington. MP outside. Back to Washington. Here's Martin. And the seven-footer falls. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. Right side, Porter. This one for three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got eight here in this quarter. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. To the paint. And Aaron Gordon Gordon's with the big finish. Assisted Porter Jr. moving the Michael ball well. Gordon nice to have a wing Jr. player help to be a facilitator. Martin inside. Back to MP. Pass to Washington. And there's the foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That's foul number two for him. Well, Brad, you had to guard some of the greats in your career, including Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Who was the toughest to cover? Well, for the record, I didn't really like guarding any of them, if I'm being honest. But no one, in my opinion, tops Michael Jordan. Of course, I had to guard Kobe the most, and he was very relentless, had no weaknesses. And, you know, I was in my late 30s on one ankle. But, but who's counting? Jackson, the pass to Jokic. No good on the three. The perimeter game has failed him thus far. Hit one from range in the first half, but nothing since. Here's Hayward. Holiday grabs the miss. Denver has gone four of six from deep thus far in the fourth. Jackson with it. Pass to Watson. Jokic with it from behind the arc. Smith with the rebound. Now here's Richards. Inside. Here's Best. Good D by Jokic. The Nuggets shooting has been great. 57% and finding ways to score consistently. Watson passes to Jackson. Here's Watson. He's guarded by Martin. Jackson outside. Here's Holiday. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Justin Holiday. Charlotte has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. MP up top. Smith outside. And he drives in. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Smith. And so here is Denver. Jackson outside. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially PG County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. Down low. Stolen by Jokic. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Jackson. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And for the year, this will give them win number 17. And they meet just twice, so taking the first meeting means a lot to this team. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Nikola Jokic. He just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. 
to the middle. Here's Smith. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Yeah. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Jackson, the pass to Jokic. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last out touch bounds. by MP. Miller's checked in Nuggets. for Charlotte. Ball. Naji, he's checked in for Denver. Brown comes in for Watson. Jokic is doubled to the inside. Miller pulls it in. And so it's Charlotte with it. Pass to best. And here's Richards. Over Holiday. Here's Best. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. <laughs> this guy has been wreaking havoc out there the last couple games. You saw by that putback there, he's just completely locked in. We're getting full contributions from him right now. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. To walk into enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this squad. They really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. And that'll do it, folks. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later.